Hello and welcome to this video on solving equations involving fractions. Now let's just say I had a very simple equation like x plus 3 is equal to 5. We know to solve this equation means to get x on its own. And do you remember we just get rid of the stuff around x by doing the opposite. So we know the opposite of adding 3 is subtracting 3 and then that would just give us x is equal to 2. And it's not really any different in terms of the principle here. Let's just say we did this first question, x plus 3 over 2 is equal to 5. We reflect on the story of what's happening to x. We can see x, we're adding 3, and then we're dividing all of that by 2. So we undo those things in reverse order. So if the last thing we did was divide by 2, we do the opposite, which is to times both sides by 2. So therefore, if we multiply the left-hand side by 2, that just cancels out the over 2, and therefore we're left with x plus 3. And the mistake that students often make is that they get rid of the over 2, but then they times the top by 2 again to get 2x plus 6, but then you've multiplied by 2 twice. So times again by 2 just gets rid of that over 2. It doesn't do anything to the numerator. And then the right-hand side, 5 times 2 is 10, and then we can just subtract 3 from both sides to get x equal to 7. And that basically really is it. Question 2, we've got something similar. x over 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. Now again, let's think of the story of what's happening to x. x, we're dividing it by 2, and then we're adding 3. So we undo the add 3 first by subtracting 3 from both sides. And that gives us x over 2. The minus 3 gets rid of the plus 3. 5 minus 3 is 2. And then we want to get rid of that over 2. So we do the opposite. We times both sides by 2. Times by 2 gets rid of that over 2 to leave x. And multiplying that by 2 gives you 4. And we can always check if we substitute the 4 back into the original equation. 4 divided by 2 is 2, plus 3 is, is indeed 5. Right, next one, getting increasingly hard. We've got x over 2 plus 2x is equal to 15. Now often a good first step, if you ever see fractions in your equation, you've got a mixture of various things, is to try and get rid of fractions from the equation. So we've got this over 2, so maybe let's immediately multiply both sides of the equation by 2, and then it's going to make it much simpler. So we multiply each of these things by 2, so we multiply this by 2, we get rid of the over 2. And don't forget to multiply this by 2 as well, that becomes 4x. And then 15 times 2 is 30. And that allows us to simplify this. We collect like terms. 1x plus 4x is 5x. And then we divide both sides by 5. We get x is equal to 6. What about this one? We've got a similar thing going on, but just a bit harder. We've got x is equal to 3 plus x over 3 plus 2 times 3 minus x. So we don't like this over 3 in our equation. So let's multiply everything by 3 first, both sides of the equation. So if we multiply that by 3, we get 3x. If we multiply that by 3, we get 9. If we multiply that by 3, it gets rid of the over 3, leaving just x. And if we multiply 2 lots of 3 minus x by 3, we get 6 lots of 3 minus x. Now a mistake that students might make is when they multiply this whole thing by 3 here, this whole term, um, they multiply that by 3, but they also multiply that by 3. Now the reason that's a mistake, let's just say I had 2 times 2, and I wanted something 3 times bigger, it would be wrong to say 6 times 6, because 2 times 2 is 4, 6 times 6 is 36, which is a lot bigger than 3 times bigger. So if we wanted to make this 3 times bigger, we'd just make one of the two things 3 times bigger. So for example, 6 times 2 would be 3 times bigger than 2 times 2. So we're just multiplying one of these things by 3, in this case we're times the 2 by 3 to get 6 lots of 3 minus x, but we don't affect that. Now we can just expand out and simplify. So we get 3x equals 9 plus x plus 6 times 3 is 18. 6 times minus x is minus 6x. Let's tidy up a bit. We've got 3x equals, let's collect like terms. 9 plus 18 is 27. And x minus 6x is minus 5x. Now, do you remember we've got x's on both sides, so we collect the x's on the side with more x's. 3x is bigger than minus 5x. So we want to get rid of that minus 5x by adding 5x, doing the opposite. So 3x plus 5x is equal to 8x equals 27, and we've got rid of the minus 5x. And then you just divide both sides by 8 to get rid of that times by 8. x is equal to 27 over 8. And that is the final answer. 
Let's do these remaining questions. We've got question 5 is 2x plus 1 over 3 is equal to 3x minus 1 over 2. Now, when you have a fraction on both sides of the equation and nothing else, so it can't be a fraction plus something or a fraction minus something, fraction here on the left-hand side, fraction here on the right-hand side, nothing else, we can use something called cross-multiplying. And the way that cross-multiplying works is that we can do this times this is equal to this times this. Can you see that the multiplication is happening kind of in a cross? So we do this times this, so 2 times 2x plus 1, is equal to this times this, 3 times 3x minus 1. And now we've completely got rid of our fraction. So we can just expand out and simplify. We've got 4x plus 2 times 1 is 2, 3 times 3x is 9x, 3 times minus 1 is minus 3. And we see where there's more x's, there's more x's on the right hand side, so we're going to collect all the x's on the right hand. We don't want that 4x, so we're going to minus 4x from both sides. And then we get 2 is equal to 5x minus 3. Uh, add 3 to both sides to get 5 equals 5x. And so x was just equal to 1. So we can use cross multiplying when we just have a fraction on both sides of the equation and nothing else. And that commonly occurs. Right, question 6. 3 over 4 minus 5x is equal to 2. Now we've got a fraction, we don't want to have a fraction, so we multiply both sides by whatever this denominator is. So we can multiply both sides by all of 4 minus 5x. So when we multiply this by 4 minus 5x, that just leaves 3. And when we multiply this by 4 minus 5x, you could expand out in your head, but I'm just going to write it unexpanded. So we've got 2 times 4 minus 5x, and then expand out, 3 equals 8 minus 10x and subtract 8 from both sides so we get minus 5 is equal to minus 10x and then divide both sides by minus 10 and we get x is equal to a half. Right, I would like you to do these two test your understanding questions. So we've got this, 7 is equal to 2x minus 1 over 3 and this harder one which is x plus 3 equals 2 minus 4x plus 3 over 2. And then one final one again, I want you to solve 3x plus 4 over 2 is equal to 4x minus 1 over 5. Right, you may want to pause the video here to have a go at those. Let's think of the story of what's happening to x. So x is being multiplied by 2, subtracting 1 and dividing by 3. So we do undo the divide by 3 first by multiplying both sides by 3. So we get 21 equals, and multiplying that by 3 gets rid of the over 3, 2x minus 1. Add 1 to both sides, 22 equals 2x, and then divide both sides by 2, x is equal to 11. Right, this one here, um, it's easy if we just multiply everything by 2 first because we've got this over 2. So if we do that, we get 2x plus 6 equals 4 minus... Now, I have to be very careful here. Because we're subtracting all of this, I need to put in brackets. So we're minusing all of this, subtracting all of this. But we don't have the over 2 anymore. So then, if I just get rid of that bracket, 2x plus 6 is equal to 4. We're subtracting 4x, and we're subtracting 3 as well. And I bet you, a number of you, when you were trying that, you wrote minus 4x plus 3 rather than minus 3 there. So be very careful. And then let's tidy up a bit. 2x plus 6 is equal to 4 minus 3 is 1, so it's 1 minus 4x. Collect x is on one side of the equation. 2x is bigger than minus 4x. Let's get 4x, so we add 4x to both sides, 6x plus 6 equals 1, and then subtract 6 from both sides, 6x equals minus 5, and so x is equal to minus 5 over 6. Now this final one, remember if we have a fraction on both sides, we just cross multiply, so that times that, 5 times 3x plus 4 is equal to that times that, diagonally multiplying, we have 2 times 4x minus 1. And then if we expand out, I'm running out of space here, we have 15x plus 20 is equal to 8x minus 2. Then collect x is on one side, so we've got 7x, I've subtracted 8x, and I'm also going to move the 20 over, so subtract 20, you get minus 22, and therefore x 
is equal to, divide both sides by 7, minus 22 divided by 7. Well done if you got those right.